Herzlich willkommen erst auf das and welcome to another review video. First of all, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for providing me your time since time is the most important resource we humans have. I'm really not going to rob your time. I will try to provide you guys the most value. In today's review, we are going to take a look at this scar from Begadi. In today's review, we are going to take a look at the external parts, internal parts. We are going to take this thing at the shooting tail test, shooting range to make a maximum range test. And in the end, I'm going to make a whole sum up to tell you if this thing is really worth the price or not. So I would say, let's go. If you order the scar from Begadi that D, you will receive the following things. First things first, you will receive it in this box. The box has the FN logo right there. It also has a distributed by Suma logo right there. Here in the front, it says Cybergun. Then on the side, we have a picture with all the upgrade parts, which are already installed from Begadi in this rifle. There in the back, we have some attention stuff. And basically, that's it. Now I would say, let's open it up and let's see what kind of things we are going to receive if we order this thing. Let's go. So, first things first, we got here the classic Begadi Chrono paper because Begadi Chronos every rifle before they send it out. This is great because now we exactly know how strong our rifle is shooting and it's just a great check. I like this feature, Chrono paper. Moving on, we got here the FN SCAR manual. It's basically the user manual. If you open it up, it is well explained where to fill in the BBs, remove the magazines and use the flip-up sights and adjust the hop-up actually. Everything is beautiful and colorful. And yeah, that's the manual. Moving on, we got, which is really cool, we got not only one magazine which is included, we also got here a second one. So one is a high cap one which holds around 300 BBs. It has this little wheel. I don't really like high cap ones because if you fill it up with BBs, it's just extremely loud and shaky if you run, but it's nice to have. Then we have here the other magazine, which is a Minecap magazine. It's made out of metal and it has no wheel actually because it's a Minecap. So really great feature there, having two magazines for your first basically rifle. Then we have here the classic cleaning rod. With this rod, you can clean the inner barrel and remove some dirt or even a sucked BB. So it's nice to have this one as well. Then we have here some protection. We have here this little key right there. I think this is for adjusting the sides. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I think that's the key for the sides. And last but not least, we got here the scar itself. So the box is basically empty. And now I would say, let's take a closer look on this scar. Now that the scar is out of the box, it's actually time to talk about the external parts and let's see what those parts are made of. Actually, let's start with the stock. We have here the classic style scar stock, which is totally adjustable. You can, with pressing this button, adjust the length and also the cheek plate right there. And if you want, you can also fold it in to make it more compact for CQB and also for transporting purposes. Then also, if you remove this back plate right here, it is made out of a rubber. Then we have access to the battery department, which is in this case really, really big. So you have no problem with fitting in 11.1 watt LiPo batteries, actually with three cells in here. Then moving forward, we have here the upper receiver, which is made out of a CNC machined aluminum. It has those nice colors and also the numbers on the top. Plus it has the FN markings here on the side, which makes this thing really, really realistic and unique. Here on the top, we have also the flip up sides, which can be flipped up and down and here on the front as well. These are made out of metal. Then moving downwards, we have here the lower receiver, which is like on every other scar made out of ABS. But this is a really high quality ABS, so this doesn't tilt in every kind of direction if you twist it. And also the piston grip right here is made out of ABS, but is also really sturdy. And if you hold it, it perfectly just flows into your hand and you can hold it really comfortably. Then a really cool feature right here is that the 
safe and semi switch is basically on both sides so this is for left and also for right handed shooters in this case and also the magazine release is on both sides which is a really great feature then moving a little bit forward we have here the Picatinny rails on the sides and here down below on the lower top of the upper here you can mount some grips or uh, maybe the scour grenade launcher and here on the side you can mount basically everything you want like a scope cam flashlight laser i don't know what you prefer and need and here in the front we have here the flash hider which is made out of metal but you can remove this or put on the typical scour flash hider as well so yeah those are actually the external parts from this scour. Now it's time to dive actually deep into the internal section of this video. I will keep this section really short, just make a quick rundown of all the parts because one, it's actually boring to talk in detail about every single screw right there. And if you know this channel, this channel is all about testing. So after this video segment, we will take this thing to the shooting range and test it and see actually the performance which actually matters. Right? Right. So, a quick disclaimer first. So the Swimmer Scar is around for a couple of years. Everybody knows this rifle from the fields or actually from the shops. But this one is special. It not only has a real license, it also has some upgrades from Begadi. So Begadi took this car and upgraded it out of the box. And now I'm going to make a rundown of the upgraded internal parts of this thing. So let's start with the heart at the gearbox. The gearbox is a has a reinforced shell, so it withstands bigger springs as well and bigger tension. Then a great feature, it has a quick change spring system, which as you guys know, I personally really love because first of all, in 2022, it's actually standard and it's also great because you don't need to disassemble the entire rifle to swap out the spring. You can just do it really quickly, even though even on the field with just an allen key and swap out the spring and swap in another one and also if you're doing cqb games or anything like this it's just easier to disassemble and just take out the spring so we got here some upgraded an upgraded piston actually with an upgraded piston head then we got here some upgraded gears which are upgraded by Begadi and there's also high, a high speed motor which is already installed in the grip basically. Then here at the trigger unit we have some features as well. We have here the Begadi FCU unit so they built this FCU on their own and just they just throw it in here. This FCU is actually really great because we have a better trigger response and it's just in general a better contact with the trigger you can trigger faster and it just feels better then we have here actually an upgraded nozzle and basically that's it and of course before i forget it this thing also has a built-in mosfet which protects the entire rifle of melting down and get destroyed by your batteries that's not good. Uh, now it's time to talk about the accuracy part which is actually here on the front we have here an exchanged inner barrel. So this is a precision inner barrel, which has a diameter of 6.03 millimeters. And we have here the Begadi Pro hopper bucking, which is special in my point of view, because it has a bigger hop up window actually. So the barrel has a bigger window and the, the rubber has a bigger surface. This allows us to have more pressure on the BB and more pressure on the BB gives the BB more spin and more spin in the air lets the BB fly more stable. And if the BB flies more stable, it can better hit the targets and also can fly even further on. But we will see these things on the shooting test section on this video. And basically, yeah, that's it. These are all the internal parts. Now I would say it's time to chrono this thing and then take it to the shooting range and let's test this thing if it is really as great as they tell us to be. Let's go. We're now here at the Stenway shooting range and we'll give you guys a quick rundown how this test will be performed. So here in the back is 
this black barrel this is our target it's like one meter high and it's empty so if we hit it we have a knock sound and we can recognize the hit so the plan is to go to 20 40 and also to 60 meters and from 60 meters i'm going to move 10 meters shoot move 10 meters and shoot again so we can exactly figure out the maximum range We are now 60 meters far away. Right, let's move back 10 meters. Okay, we are now 70 meters far away. Let's move 10 meters. Right, 80 meters. Okay, that's too much. Let's move five back. 75 meters. I hit. All right, so 75 meters are the maximum range for this thing, which is really not that bad out of the box. All right, now the time has come. It's finally time for the standby summer. Is this car really worth the price or not? You guys had seen the external parts, actually the amazing external parts with the FM markings all over the place also the internal parts are really high quality and great and at the end you guys had seen the shooting results as well so would i recommend this car for anybody out there who is looking for actually a great car i would say for 100 percent yes because the build quality on this thing is just amazing the shooting range uh, resorts are amazing as well and the best point is the price the price is amazing as well so it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an advanced airsoft player i would highly recommend this car to anybody out there who is actually looking for a scar and this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like this video so we got a better ranking here in youtube and more and more people can come and see my videos if you have stick until this point of the video i really appreciate you thank you very much and make sure to take care of you and i'll see you guys in the next one